Hi everyone and welcome to a walking tour of the Secrets Resort in Cap Cana. So here's just the pathway from building 5 which is a building we stayed in and to the right right by that waterfall is the main building which also includes the market cafe. Right here to the left is the hibachi restaurant which is Himitsu restaurant. I might not be saying that correctly but I'm trying my best. There's another view of that main building in there. It also has the lobby, concierge desk, the rendezvous lobby bar, Coco Cafe, shopping gallery, the Desires music lounge. There's a ton of stuff in there and also the convention center. And up here on the left is another restaurant and that's El Patio restaurant which is their Mexican style cuisine. And then this little area is a spot you can sit if you need to wait for a table. There's a little booth in that sh little shack hut. And then here's the El Patio. They also have a special wine list right here that you can look at because you can order special wines that are added price at any of the restaurants. The next restaurant coming up to is Bordeaux which is the French dining restaurant and right next to it is Portofino which is the Italian restaurant. Here's that sign for Bordeaux. And it has that little flower arch, so it's easy to distinguish. Um, and then right next to it is Portofino, which, like I said, is the Italian restaurant. And if you were to continue on the path to the left, that would take you to the fitness center. And also the secret spa is located back there. Just keep walking this way. We're heading in the direction towards the pool now. Here in this large grassy area, they also have special events certain nights or special dinners that you can attend for an added price. They also do have some that are included within your stay, so just be sure to check with your concierge what they have going on that week. Right here is the main pool bar, which is a sugar reef bar. And to the right, if you just saw a little corner of it, that is the barefoot grill which you can walk up and just order food and they're really quick so um, that's just a quick service meal by the pool if you don't want to go into any of the restaurants also you can ask one of your servers for a pizza and that comes from that main restaurant which is the market cafe and they'll bring it and deliver it to you so be sure to be nice to your service you can request a pizza when you want one And then that little blue stand is typically filled with towels and there's another one at the front of the pool too just in case you need any extras or want to grab some to save a spot. And to the left that path takes you to the preferred area including the pool, preferred beach area which you can also access from the beach and the Rosewater Preferred Club restaurant. And the bar I just passed on the right is the Manatees Bar and that is the swim up bar. So it's super nice, you can just be in the pool and just go up to the bar and get a drink that way, which is really convenient. There's also a couple hammocks and tables there too, to just lounge if you'd like. Here are some of the beachfront units, including some of the swim out rooms, which look amazing. Now just walking up to the beach, you can see the left here that is for preferred members only. So you have your own section if you paid for preferred. And there's a little barrier right there in the middle. And then the secrets Capcom sign, obviously. And then there's usually plenty of seating. It is very hard to get a good spot at the pool so make sure you go early and either save your spot or just get to the pool quick.
There are several romantic dining spots you can do throughout the property. Here is one of them. They also have different setup stations, either up for drinks or coconuts, or sometimes they'll do a little buffet out on the beach. So it just depends. It changes every day and the concierge might have more information. It doesn't really post in the schedule, things like that, but just to let you know, things change and there may be different drinks or food available. Here's a very cute beach swing. Have to get your picture in that. And then they also have the hammocks in the water, which are so nice. We sat in them one day and we loved it. I wish we used it more often, but they also have another hammock in the preferred side too. These day beds here you can actually rent out so be sure to look into that if that's something you're interested in you'll also be given a server for the hours that you're renting the day bed so I would definitely recommend that They also have plenty of water sports and activities for you to participate if you want to kayak or paddleboard, things like that. I also saw them have a couple volleyball games, so if you want to be a little more active, they have everything. You said, son, you remember this day for the rest of your life. I think he's right. They also have this nice little fireplace out on the beach, super cozy. It was definitely too warm <laughs> to ever sit by a fire when, fireplace when we were there, but it may be different when you visit. And then the bar right here to the left, that is Barracuda, just a more accessible beach bar, and there are servers that will come out and serve you drinks on the beach, so you don't have to get up and run to the bar every time if you don't want to, just an option. And this bar is also closer to some of the pool seating that's on this side of the property. Okay, so here's some more pool seating that's more has a better beach view. Also really helpful, there's several of these large maps around the property so you can see where you're going really. And then right here is Oceana, their seafood restaurant. And on the opposite side of Oceana is the Seaside Grill restaurant, which is actually open for lunch and dinner. We enjoyed their lunch most. And then we're looping back to the other side of the pool and here's an extra bar right to the left. This bar never really seemed that busy so if you ever had a line, which I never really saw much of a line, but I would recommend that one if you didn't want to wait very long. So yeah, we're just walking up towards the main building again.
Okay, so we walked back towards the end of the pool so that you could see the other side of it, including the other restaurant, which is the Seaside Grill restaurant. So this is the very edge of the pool towards the middle, and then here is Seaside Grill, and then to the left, the Oceana. So this is that all is Seaside Grill, and then you can see in the front right here, that's that poolside swim-up bar. It's nice and know you care, you know you care about something Even when it's unfair, you know it's better than nothing Yeah, I got you Tucked away in here is the hot tub, which is really large so it can fit a lot of people, super nice. Okay, and now we're back to where I was before by that less busy bar and walking towards the main building up towards the front. So like I mentioned before, right in front of us is that Market Cafe and they have a buffet for both breakfast and lunch. You've got magic in your eyes, little one. And a smile that is brighter than the moon. There's also a photo gallery on this lower level. You need inside of you already. So much love surrounding you. The world can be a wobbly place you'll go up down turn around and start all over again you might find some trouble but know that these things are always true i've got her she's got me and we've got you There is healing in your laughter, little one. So don't you let anyone or anything take it away. There okay, and in this little corner over here is the Desires Lounge. And they have karaoke and other fun things at night here. But laughter can be found in just about. And then right here is the U Lounge for unlimited vacation yes, members. And then when you walk forward some more, here's the Rendezvous Bar, which is attached to the lobby. Up, down, turn around and start all over again. You might find some trouble, but know that these things are always true. 
I've got her, she's got me, and we've got you. And then walking through here is obviously the main lobby area. Towards the left, that's where you enter the property. And there's also some shops in, in that hallway. And up front is the Coco Cafe. Yes, the world can be a wobbly place. You'll go up, down, turn around, and start all over again. And if you ever find some trouble, you'll know that these things are always true. So here's the Coco Cafe. They are open 24 hours, which is really nice, and they have little snacks in there too. I've got her. And then they obviously sell coffee, and they do have alcohol they can put in your coffee if that's something you're interested in. Here's just a little peek at one of the shops they have. If you take that hallway, you can see they have a little jewelry store and another little shop if you want to buy something from the hotel. And then if you turn right from there, I walked across that bridge and this is building five. And right behind the building is the spa, which I definitely recommend. We had an amazing massage there and the hydrotherapy pool is a lot of fun. All in all, it's an amazing property and we definitely loved it and enjoyed our stay. Let me know if you want to see anything in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.